Hello, welcome, and thanks for watching. DayZ released today on the PlayStation 4, which is going to bring in a whole new player base. Many of you are going to be wondering how the hell you should begin learning this gigantic map that is the land of Chernaris. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you where to find every single military location on the map, which is where you can find the best loot like AKs, M4s, night vision goggles, and military clothing. I hope this video is helpful to players both new and old, and if it is, please subscribe and you get to check out my other guide and adventure videos. Alright, let's get going. First off, Daisy's loot economy works on a four-tiered system. You'll be able to find progressively better gear as you work your way off of the coast and inland towards the higher tier sections of the map. For those of you who are still learning the map and how to get around, I'm going to point you guys towards my loot route guides, which will help you figure out where you've spawned and how to get inland to the higher tier loot areas. I also take you through these military locations I'm about to explain, and I even show you how to safely approach them without getting spotted. So definitely check those out in the card in the top right or the description below. Alright, let's start things off in the northeastern corner of the map. There are quite a few military locations around here that can get you pretty well geared before you start your journey. First off, there's Berezino, which has a single military tent in the upper portion of the town, right nearby the hospital. Another two tents can be found by following the main paved road northwest towards Gorka. North of Berezino is a crash boat called Riffy, which is a great place to find a whole bunch of military gear really close to where you might spawn. Further north from Riffy is a town called Svetlo, which is another spawn point. If you follow the northern highway west of Svetlo, you can find these three military tents. In between Krasnostav and Novo, you can find a civilian barracks area that's a little lesser known, but it's becoming a lot more popular. But you can find a lot of great gear here. Two more tents in this area can be found west of Krasno. Just follow the main road out of Krasno to the northwest and you'll get to this area. Alright, now that we've covered all the smaller military areas located in the northwest, we're going to take a look at the other smaller locations that are nearby spawn points located in the south. Electra has a single military tent down the hill from the church and right nearby the police station. Following the road directly north out of Electra will get you to these two military tents, but they're just a quick stop on the way to a much better military location. With five separate structures that spawn in loot, Saroy Military Base has a hell of a lot of gear and a hell of a lot of PvP. This one is definitely worth checking out. Now let's head back down south towards Cherno. In the industrial area up on a hill you can find a couple of tents with some decent military gear. Up the hill to the west of that you'll see a bunch of apartments and up here you can find three more tents outside of Novoselki. Alright, now that we're in the western portion of the map, we are entering a higher tier loot area, where we're going to find a lot better loot and a lot bigger military areas. We're going to start in the south, and then we're going to work our way north towards the big ones like Northwest Airfield and Tizzy Military. Here we have Pelota, which is found to the west of Cherno. This one's pretty spread out, so you're going to have to definitely take some time to wander around here. Watch out, there are a ton of zombies, but it is worth killing them because you can find a lot of ammunition on them. If you're willing to head farther west from Belota and then cross some water south of Kamanka and Kamarovo, you'll find Prison Island. This is a really cool island uh, that has a lot of really unique structures that you can only find here. It is definitely a bit of a swim, you're not always super likely to find players here, but it's definitely a place worth checking out if you're new to the map. Southwest Evac is just a little further west from Kamanka. It is a great area to find some PvP with a lot of interesting firefights just because of the layout of the area. North of Kamanka is Pavlovo Military Base, which is one of my favorite. It's got four military barracks, a couple of guard shacks, and even a hospital, so there's a lot to loot here.
North of Pavlovo, you'll find the city of Zelenogorsk, which has a large military base in the southwestern corner of the city. It has four barracks, a camo prison, multiple military shipping containers, and even more structures that spawn military loot. It is the biggest we've seen so far. If you look to the northeast of Zelenogorsk, you'll see a giant radio tower that is Green Mountain. This is a small military area, but many private servers use it as trader bases and safe zones. Up the road northwest of Green Mountain is a little military area called Sosnovi Pass. It's only got two tents. Further west is another military location with nine military structures called Mishkino. It's a good one. There used to be a lot of sniper vitals here. Now there's a little bit less, but I still get into quite a bit of PvP while I'm here. Following the train tracks north from Mishkino will take you to Northwest Evac, which is a great little area. It has five tents, a gas station, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff to check out. A lot of fun PvP to be had here as well. VMC is small in size, but has a lot to offer in the form of loot and PvP. It's easily identified by the nearby hill and is directly south of Vibor and the Northwest Airfield. East of VMC is Starry Sobor. This town is basically in the center of the map and has a military camp with five tents and some guard towers, which draw in a lot of players. This is a hot spot of PvP on almost any server. Finally, we've arrived at the legendary Northwest Airfield. For those of you who are brand new to DayZ, this is the PvP arena of the map. I'm going to give you a quick flyover, but I will be making a full guide to the entire airfield in my next loot route video, so be sure to stay tuned for that one. The northernmost section is called Bash, it has a bunch of barracks for you to loot, and a camo jail building. Next up is the tents. Hell of a lot of loot to be found here, and a lot of PvP. Next we have the industrial area of the airfield, which provides a lot of cover when you're sneaking around between different sections of the airfield. This section has the ATC, which is going to have the PA system that will let you communicate with the entire airfield if you can find a car battery and plug it in, and is probably going to get you into a firefight if you enter that building. Here we have the firing range, which has a couple tents, some cool little training areas for military personnel, and a construction site for you to loot. Here we have the barracks area. There are a lot of large buildings with small rooms inside, so you're going to have to check each one if you really want to fully loot this area. A lot of PvP to be had here, and it can be tough to find the people that you're looking for, so be careful here. Finally, we have one more industrial area with a couple more barracks and another camo jail building. Next up we have Tizzy Military Base. This is found in the farthest northwest corner of the map and has a lot of really cool unique buildings to it, like the satellite dish, and a couple of ramps that lead to missile launch pads. Here we have the Tents of Tizzy, which is the largest grouping of tents in the entire map. Alright, one more little guy and one more big military base for us to cover. This is west of Severograd, which can be found along the northern highway in the center of the map. It's a nice little spot to find some ammo, and the geography with hills on either side can make it an interesting place to get into a firefight. Alright, I saved my favorite for last. This is Kamensk Military Base. It is in the way north of the map, in the dead center when it comes to east and west. It is a really cool area, it's got a ton of tents, it's got an industrial area, it's got a fairly unique big military building. 
This is where uh, Happy Bomb's last True Colors PvP event ended up, and I had a hell of a good time getting into a firefight here. It's a really cool area, lots of great loot, and usually a hell of a lot of PvP as well. That's it for this guide video. I hope this helped you dip your toe in the water when it comes to learning the new map. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out my other, more detailed Loot Root Guide series that you can find in the description below. And I'd like to sincerely welcome all you PS4 players and wish you the best of luck surviving in Trenaris. You're definitely going to need it. Later, everybody.